All right, so on an earlier video, I started talking about my trip to In-N-Out Burger. This is actually the problem where the In-N-Out Burger story really applies. The idea that you're buying multiple items and trying to figure out the total cost. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going to find the price for each item. Find the um, price for each item. Actually, it should be find price, find the total price. Let's put a little total here. Find the total price for each item and then add the totals together. Add So let's see. This is this is pretty straightforward today. Zooming, 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 zooming. There it is. How much money does Dorothy need to buy eight boxes of colored pencils and nine yellow highlighters? Eight boxes of colored pencils and nine yellowed highlighters. Eight boxes of colored pencils and nine yellow highlighters, right? What this is going to be, I need to find the total for each item. So I need eight boxes of colored pencils and nine yellow highlighters. This is the math I'm going to do. I'm going to go eight times 214. I'm going to go nine times 220. And then I'm going to add those totals together to get my final answer. So 214. times 8, 220, times 9, so we have 1712 for the pencils, and we have 1980 for the yellow highlighters. And now we're going to add those two numbers together. I'm just going to bring this guy down underneath here. So my total cost is $36.92. I find the cost of each item, and then I add the totals together. Total cost of each item, add them together to get the overall total cost. Does that make sense? Jeremiah wants to buy two pounds of zucchini, four pounds of spaghetti squash. Good, I like Jeremiah. Check out, very healthy diet here. So two pounds of zucchini. So we need some of that, right? Two pounds of that. Four pounds of spaghetti squash. And four pounds of butternut squash. And then we have to find the total cost of all those items. So here's our math. We're going to go, keep that right there. 258 times 4, 210 times 2, 62 cents times 4. So 1032 on the butternut squash. 420 for the zucchini. And 248 for the spaghetti squash. Now we need to add all of these together. So I'm just going to stack them. Ten. What's that? That's another ten. Is that right? Yep. And this is five, six, seven. So seventeen dollars. That's his total. Seventeen dollars is the total on that one. We have one final one. Just 
We're going to go with some bigger numbers here. Oh, actually, we got some fractions, too. That's a good problem. All right. What is the total cost for three pounds of peanut butter cookie dough? Three pounds of peanut butter cookie dough. Peanut butter cookie dough. Peanut butter cookie dough right here. I need three of these. Three of those. I need a half a pound of half a pound of oatmeal raisin cookie dough. Oatmeal raisin cookie dough, but only a half a pound of that. So I'll go with a 0.5. Isn't that a half a pound? A 0.5 for a half. And seven tenths of a pound of snickerdoodle cookie dough. Snickerdoodle cookie dough. Right there, sorry. And I need seven tenths of a pound of that. So I'm going to go with a 0.7 of that. So we're going to get some decimals in here. So I have 430 times 0 0.7, 732, which you cannot see what I'm doing, 732 times 0.5, and 643 times 3. 7 times 0 is 0, 7 times 3 is 21, 7 times 4 is 28, 29, 30. So 30, 10 for that one. 5 times 2 is 10. 15, 16, 35, 36, 36, 60. 3 times 3 is 9, 12, 18, 19. So I have $30.10, $36.60, $19.29, and I need to add these all together. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine, fifteen, eight. Eighty-five dollars and ninety-nine cents on cookie dough. Wow, that's a lot of cookie dough. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.